Hi, my name is Chris Erskine. I'm an urban landscape artist and welcome to Art Post. Um, so it's a really nice day and um, I really didn't feel like being in the studio. Um, so I've come out to the garage and I'm working on an old painting. Um, this sort of was inspired by um, this morning I was looking at uh, David Hockney's uh, show um, at the Peace Gallery. He's got some new work there that he's showing and that led me to his website and it showed me some of his videos on how he did his uh, some of his paintings. Uh, David Hockney um, is amazing for his uh, engagement with technology and how he uses it and all that sort of thing. And it just gets sometimes it just gets uh, you see something like that and it just wants you just want to get out there and start painting. Now <clears throat> I'm in between uh, projects. I just finished a commission for a flower uh, painting that I had just done and uh, and uh, my next uh, thing is to uh, work on um, uh, what I like to have a submission for the, uh, the MIP um, in uh, the Innovation Park um, shows. Now they have they've already the deadline's already passed for uh, the fall show, which uh, I think runs from late August to um, early November, and that's the one I actually was hoping to get for, but the submission deadline was in May, and uh, it kind of, I was looking for the submission, uh, but it popped up uh, quite quickly, and then uh, I think it was around the end of May uh, or something that uh, you had to have it in. So, and I wouldn't have had any work finished anyhow for that. Um, so uh, now I'm thinking uh, late, December into uh, the new year and um, I, I'd like to do something that actually works on the Innovation Park um, building complex there. They have a mixture of uh, uh, renovated uh, new buildings and uh, the, the old uh, Westinghouse factory and so I really like to work on that. Uh, so what that entails is I'm going to have to go out, do some preliminary sketches, work out what the concept's going to be and then um, take, uh, then do some photographs of it, work it up in Photoshop, and then um, and then uh, and work out the composition, and then actually start painting it. Last week I picked up the the, the panels that I'm planning to use from Curry's, and so and then I'm, I'm prepping those. So that means sanding them down, which I've done. I, I like a nice smooth finish on it, so I can do the preliminary drawing on a nice smooth almost paper finished board and then uh, from that I, I then layer up uh, about five or six coats of gesso to and sand that to give me almost like a, uh, a lacquer polished uh, surface to work from. It's probably overkill but uh, right now that's the way I'm working. Um, so so I, that's a lot of preparatory work and I but I had this urge to paint so I went into my uh, storage and looked up, uh, looked for some paintings that weren't finished. And behind me is um, is uh, a painting from uh, 2006. Actually, it's literally 10 years old. I, um, I I did a. This is from Life, and it was never finished. And it features the Winston Churchill tree that has been. Uh, cut down now uh, from old age. I believe it got damaged in a storm. And um, yeah, so the first painting date was um, uh, May 28th, uh, 2006, and then June 4th, 2006. So it's literally 10 years old. So what I think I'm going to do uh, while I'm working up my uh, uh, Innovation Park uh, composition is I will. Um, work on this a little bit, build it up, and then I'll do a couple preliminary sketches and start maybe working out to finish it. Um, it has, I, I like it, I like it a little bit. Um, at the time when I, uh, I gave up on it, I really wasn't too thrilled. And this is literally one of the last paintings I did before I switched over to print banking. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna, you know, I have a bit of a phantom tree there that no longer exists. But I do believe somewhere I have uh, photographs of the tree still, I think from this angle too. So that's what I'll work on and um, and um, yeah, so I, and I moved again, I moved out into the garage just so 
that I could be outside and not uh, in the studio. Uh, I just felt like uh, having the air around me and that sort of thing. So thanks very much, and until next time, take care. Bye.